Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Hello, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and today I have a little uh, DIY to show you. I don't even have my nails painted or my jewelry on because I am working today. So I got this new sticker planning guide and um, this is for the classic and I'll be using it for my dashboard and my vertical layout, but I don't have a horizontal layout, so I won't be using those pages. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to take those pages, move my templates out of the way here, and I'm going to use them to make a guide for the Skinny Classic and for the Skinny Mini. So what I'm going to do is I took and I measured a page from, let's find a, let's find a blank page. I've been very active in here. I don't have too many blank ones, let's see. Uh, here we go. Blank page. And I measured it on the little sheet that comes with it. I also did the same thing for my Skinny Mini, same size as that page. So let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm not sure if this will be in frame because it's kind of big, but we're going to take the template and we are going to take the template I made. Line up the holes. Huh. It's not the same size. That's pretty weird. This is the paper that came with it. Oh, there we go. All right. So line up the holes and then put this on the cutter. So check again one more time. And see if we can cut it. It's thick and you gotta hold it steady. <laughs> it cut. So then I'll just show you on one of these right now. If I take my Skinny Classic to next week where I'm going to be planning and lay this on here. Being that it's the horizontal, even the lines are pretty accurate and line up to this. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side and I'll have my own planning sheet, planning guide, so that I can sticker for my Skinny Mini, or sorry, Skinny Classic. Now, I could use the clear, the custom one that it comes with for the Skinny Mini so that I don't have those lines, but I wanna use that one for layering. So I am going to use this one and you will see the lines, but that doesn't bother me. It may to someone else, but I'm going to just, um, I'm probably gonna use the bottom piece. I'm gonna cut that down and then the, the top and the bottom line line up, but then you'll have these lines in the middle. But for me, I'm just going to be using this for uh, planning off to the side before I do my videos. So it's not gonna really affect anything. It's just, if you, if you wanna do it, fine, but just know that it's not gonna be perfect. But for me, it's okay. So let me cut this one down. I'm gonna line this one up with the bottom. I have to trim off a very teeny, teeny bit. And then also um, doing it this way for the normal normal person, <laughs> it's not gonna be punched either. Now I have a way of punching it using a different punch than the Happy Planner punch, but you could use this just to lay it over your page too. You wouldn't need to put it in your planner for any reason, you can just use this still need to cut that down more and you could just use this to lay over your page 
and then you know put your stickers on here to figure out lay different layouts since it's small you know it's hard to decorate you wouldn't necessarily need it to be punched anyway that's just if you want to plan on in your planner on the pages which who does that anyway in the disc, disc system right we all plan with it outside of our planner so it doesn't really matter if it's punched or not so that was just a quick little DIY using the new happy planner guides the classic size horizontal works perfect for the skinny classic And then I'm using the leftovers in my skinny mini. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.